one of the things I discovered in my journey was that the poor of India are tragically fatalistic about their rights from the state. And maybe it's because while our class experienced for the first time what it feels like to not get a doctor, to not get a bed, to not get a cylinder. If you live in Delhi at the All India Medical Institute, for years on the pavements are cancer patients who are waiting for an appointment, sometimes for months. So India's poor, I found, were quite fatalistic in terms of the fact that electorally COVID was a non-issue. I would say that there are complex reasons for that, including a whole host of factors, personality, uh, Hindutva, nationalism, welfare schemes, and a failed opposition. So it's a big combination and you can't isolate COVID and say, Oh, COVID didn't matter to people. I think COVID, I call it the 2611 uh, of the health system, just like 2611 brought terrorism home. Uh, so did COVID bring the health discussion into our homes. But the state was sometimes too present and sometimes too little present. And nothing manifested that better, Kiran, than the police. The police were frontline warriors. They were often victims, they were vulnerable, and then they were weaponized against the poorest people. And so many people I met while trying to walk home had been beaten by the cops. So it was a very, very contradictory time where you saw those in the receiving end turning perpetrators, perpetrators turning victims. It was a cataclysmic moment and it held a mirror to us where we saw both the worst of us and the best of us. Thank you.